Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Bedrock Survival with Fix. Man, I got a lot of stuff to discuss today. A lot of, like, interesting stuff. A really, really good comment from Slum Chemist that I want to get to at some point today. Hopefully, we'll have time. But before we get to any of that stuff, we need to go to the end because it's time that we return to the old space base. You know, I have been... I've been thinking a lot about the lore bit, and hopefully, I'm not sure, probably not but yet, but at some point soon, we have a lore of, of Tavolin episode coming, because the script is done, a couple of the voice acting jobs are done, and a couple still have yet to be done. So we're still, we're working on it, it's just not quite there yet. And this is kind of the place that I want to look at today. You know, I've been thinking about how are these people, because, spoiler alert for the lore bit, although I think you probably saw it coming, these people are going to eventually go down to the planet, right? That's just, of course they are, that, that just makes sense. Hello, hello, let's not get killed, thank you. And before they can get down to the planet, we need to figure out a way that they can get down to the planet, right? So, I'm thinking shuttle, I'm thinking like we do sort of a landing pad bit here. And I kind of initially thought it was going to be out this way until I realized that this way is only like 15 blocks long and that's not really enough. So I think what we're going to do instead is we're going to go down like here, down, well, down this way. And then after we go down out a little bit, we're going to turn uh, this way and we're going to go down. And I'm thinking that's going to make the most sense for... Well, for how, how these folks are going to get down to the planet down below, right? That just kind of makes sense. So, I'm going to have a whole lot of digging because I'm going to dig out, basically, I want to dig out a shuttle bay, like a landing pad shuttle bay situation here. So, the good thing is I'm going to get a lot of endstone, which I am in just constant need for, and that's a good thing. Um, you know, the bad side is this has to stay. This is where you spawn in the end. You can't change it. It's not possible to change it given sort of Minecraft mechanics. So this has got to stay exactly here. So we're going to figure out a way to decorate this a little bit better. I think we're probably going to end up using like an elevator system instead of these stairs. Once we get sort of established here, I think this will be something else entirely because I want to basically, I want to get away where you can get on the landing pad. You can fly up here and you can be boom. You can be like right here. So yeah, so I, I got a bunch of digging. Why don't I take a little cut here and I will dig out a whole big uh, shuttle bay, uh, landing pad size thing, and then we'll work on decorating. This is probably going to be a fairly massive build, I would think. All right, I'm realizing halfway through this that this is going to be a major, major, major grind. So I'm going to play some footage here and respond to a really, really well thought out and in-depth uh, message that I got. So this is going to be a little bit of a talky thing, but there's a great reveal at the end because I already did it. So we'll just wait. It's going to be kind of cool at the end. But this is a, a comment from the Slum Chemist, and uh, who's also a YouTuber and uh, does some really nice stuff on his channel. So go check that out. It says, I started this series about a month ago from episode one, and since you put the monorail up, I've been thinking that it breaks the immersion of this grand medieval kingdom, which is an amazing build, by the way. Also, I know it's a cliche comment, but you deserve 10 times more subscribers and views than you have. Well, thank you very much. All shocks. It's not cliche at all. Everyone can tell me how many more subscribers I deserve. <laughs> That's fine. You've done a lot of comparable, if not better, builds than YouTube Minecrafters with 300,000 Plus subscribers. I've watched pretty much every single Minecraft YouTuber who has a long-standing medieval survival series on YouTube. It's a problem I know, uh, but because it's something I've been wanting to do for a very long time. So I'm going to go in in-depth explanation on what I've sort of picked up from other YouTubers, and you're either going to be like, oh god, why did I have to read this? Or really enjoy it because I know a lot of content creators appreciate constructive criticism. Yes, I'm one who obviously uh, these things will be in relation to possible YouTube growth that I've seen. But at the end of the day, if you're having fun and genuinely enjoying the game, then that is the best possible outcome. I agree. Also, I'm bored at work, so why not? Okay, so I think being on Bedrock and having it as part of your title is something that will only hinder and not help you in the long run. That's because YouTubers like Rian and Mumbo Jumbo and these other mega Minecrafters on the platform play on Java. So they are bringing millions of views a day and thousands of new players who end up playing Java of course, these people branch out and find other content creators, but they stick relatively close to what they're already playing, as do most Java players. Bedrock is a buggy, watered-down version of Java. Uh, I think I skipped a little bit. Anyway, mo they say most Java players think Bedrock is a watered-down version. Look, I I'm going to get into that in a minute, but that's... Uh, yes, I think that is what they think, but that's not 
true. <laughs> okay, anyway, even people who play Bedrock end up watching Minecraft play Java. It's why these guys have millions of views. Also, I love that you stay in the same city, and that's what makes this series unique to me, and it's why I enjoy it. Uh, I always love the concept and try to implement it into my own world. However, I noticed something that YouTubers do that is smart and makes a lot of sense. Uh, Fwep implements this heavily into his channel, uh, but I've also seen people like Python and Waddles do it. It would be to have your main city you're working on, this year, in your case, Old Town, but every time a major update or semi major update comes out, start a new season where you just build the little small city with the new blocks to milk the hype, then slowly start heading back to your city. I love that milk the hype. That's true. It's true. That way, all the people who want to start fresh on your channel don't start an episode one of uh, 1.12 and try to catch up. They can instead start in like season three, episode one, and be somewhat close to what they are, the update they are playing on. That's exactly right. For example, Etho does it uh, and is awesome starting episode one, but from episode one to 550 is overwhelming. It's true. Of course, you have people that are the exception to the role, like Dallas Mead 65, who is on Bedrock. Uh, and he is a decently sized channel. He's about 350,000 or so, I think. However, uh, Flip has caught up to him in half the time and almost double the views with doing things I talked about. Also, Dallas's channel appeal comes from adventuring and the sentimental value he has with all his stuff and uh, items and stuff in the game. I know it's a lot, but this is what I picked up over the years of watching thousands of hours of Minecraft gameplay. Also, if you want to get ideas of storytelling in this world without being overwhelming, I'd go check out a YouTuber named Lobos Garage, who I know. Uh, he has a single player survival series that is built slowly and uh, built up lore over time. I think it does a great job. Yes, I agree. I'm le learning a lot from him myself. You can also check out uh, a video called Exposing YouTube Secrets by Penguin Zero, who I don't know. He's not a Minecrafter, uh, but he talks a lot of tips and tricks when it comes to the YouTube algorithm. Anyway, that's it. Love your world and keep grinding. Hopefully it wasn't too much one day. Can you please fix the fact that your bridge to the wizard tower is off center? It hurts my soul. It's funny. Uh, and possibly making the water stream for your village just underground so there isn't a huge straight line cutting through your city. Okay, so here's what I want to do. I know that's like four minutes of reading a, a message. Um, here's what I want. I want to respond to each kind of each one of those points sort of individually because I think there's some really, really, really good and valid points there, and I think that uh, we should just talk about it while I dig this hole. Okay. Um, okay. For one thing, from episode one, the monorail, uh, which we used to have up at the time that he wrote this, I think it was still up. I'm not sure. This was back several episodes ago. Yes, I totally agree. I wanted the monorail system to be cool. The thing is, is I think at that point when I built it, I was kind of thinking this would be a very standard, less lore-based medieval thing. Just kind of a standard YouTuber let's play and of course knowing me being me i turned it into a lore based medieval kingdom so yeah it just didn't work so i'm glad i took it down i feel really good about it all right now uh the next thing is he talks about bedrock being in the title of this video let me explain why i did that and i would love to hear some comments or some ideas in well the comment section about this and see if you agree or disagree or 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 not the reason why I went with Bedrock in the title is because, first, there are so many Let's Plays, and and primarily most of them are on Java. It's true. And there's a lot of reasons for that. For one thing, a lot of people started a long time ago. Java is what they play. I started on Java as well, so I get it all. The reason why I went with Bedrock is because there are so many Bedrock players on Xbox, PlayStation, Switch, mobile, Windows 10 Edition, all that stuff. And I thought, well, they might want to look for a let's play that plays on their version you know what i mean and so i i thought i'd do that the things i love about bedrock which i've talked about a lot are the the, the render distance and the really uh, amazing uh loading times and all there's i mean there's a lot of things there's some things i don't love um but primarily uh the reason why i did it was to give the people who play bedrock a chance to see a long-term let's play on bedrock and there aren't very many of them there are very few in fact actually um the reason why I put in the title so it was easy to find that way and to differentiate myself from the mumbo jumbos and the whip and the pythons and the wells and the germsy boy and, and so many of my friends, you know, the B dubs. I mean, geez, where the list goes on and on and on. And that's just the really that's like the that's the big guys, right? There's a lot of really small YouTubers who also have let's plays, and it's really easy to get lost in the in the shuffle, right? So I wanted to try my best to not get lost in the shuffle as best I can. Now, has it worked? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. The numbers are the numbers. They are what they are. But uh, so I'm not sure if, if it would be worth a change or not. But that comes, I guess, right to the next point. The next point is 
starting new seasons and calling it new season episode one. Yes, we are absolutely going to do that here for sure. Whenever there's a new update, probably, or when I hit a really nice big round number. At this point, I'll probably start a new season whenever 1.17 comes out. Um, I'm, I'm hit or miss, undecided on whether I'm going to play in the betas or not. I haven't decided yet. I think very likely I might actually, so I can get the new stuff a little bit faster. And if that's the case, then I probably will start a new season there as far as number and new types of builds. Still in the same place though, still in the same kingdom. We'll just stretch out just a little bit. Like we'll go out to the suburbs, right? And we'll build there. So that way it'll all be connected, all be in the same place. The lore will continue, all that stuff, but we'll get all the new blocks, which would be super, super cool. So yes, we will absolutely have Bedrock Survival with Fix. Uh, or maybe just Minecraft survival with fix if that's what we decide to do. I'm gonna really lean on the comments I really want to hear what you have to say about should I call it should I just call it Minecraft survival or should I keep the bedrock in the title? I, I don't know. I, I would love to hear some ideas on that for sure. So, you know, as far as it goes, the YouTube algorithm and things like that, I would love to grow. I would so much love to grow my channel. I'm very unemployed right now, as most of you know. I'm a musician, and as it turns out, being a musician during the pandemic, not such a great time. So uh, I'm very unemployed. Luckily, my family is good because my wife still has a job. But, um, you know, I've been unemployed for, for many months now, and I would love to grow this YouTube channel for sure. And, you know, and it is growing. It's just growing slowly. Um, so if I could pick up the pace on that, that would be really great. And I am looking for new ways to do it. So if I can figure out how to do that while also not doing things that I hate. For example, I could do things that I've seen people had success with. Uh, good friends of mine have success with, for sure. Like um, uh, do a, a seed, a best ever seed uh, video showcase or do tutorials. I try to do tutorials. I might come back to them. I, I don't enjoy them at all. And at some point, you guys say, well, is this, am I treating this like work? I'm going to do stuff I don't enjoy doing? Um, or am I going to try to do what I like to do? And hopefully people will click the button, you know, and that's a, a tough decision. So I hate to get into the big YouTube rap because I know that's not everyone's cup of tea, but I wanted everyone to hear this really great comment and just kind of know where I'm at as far as it goes. You know, I'm having a great time with the Bedrock world. I'm looking forward to restarting Realm of Aston here very, very, very shortly. Um, here in just a couple weeks, we'll, we're restarting out of the Realm of Aston. If you didn't, if you missed that um, announcement, go check it out. It should have probably came out like a day ago or two days ago. So, yeah, so that's pretty much where I'm at, okay? So I'm going to continue digging here, and then I'm going to do a little cut, and you are going to see the reveal of this, what I think turned out to be a really cool build. Hopefully you enjoy it, okay? Thanks for putting up with my real talky episode, and we'll see you all uh, after the clip here, okay? Oh my goodness, the amount of grind here, it doesn't look like it. It does not look like it at all, but the amount of grind, seeing as how you can't instamine end zone, is severe. But we have now a nice little landing bay. I am going to wait to do this later. I have a plan here that we're going to work on with uh, a little bit of redstone fun later on. Maybe some running lights or something that I think could be really cool. But, and I want to do a force field here to keep out the atmosphere. Um, something that can maybe be turn it off. I did actually think about maybe doing like a, a structure block automatic door sort of situation that could be a lot of fun. Maybe we could get to like raise and lower. I Maybe, maybe we might do that. Like the problem is structure blocks take creative mode, which kind of stinks. It kind of stinks that you can't do that automatically in survival, but I get it. You know, it's just, but I don't know. I'm thinking about, it. but we have a, uh, yeah, we have a, uh, uh, it's pretty cool. It's very futuristic, right? I think it's cool. I think it's cool. It, hopefully you didn't mind the big talky element of the episode, but I did want to get it out in a reasonable amount of time. And as you can see here, this is a real grinder. So I will see you all next episode from Bedrock Survival Fix. Thanks so much for watching and take care of yourselves. Wear a mask. Bye, everybody.